Let's jump straight into creating a profile for Helios to control Thrustmaster Warthog indicators. So the first thing we do is we add an interface for the HOTAS Warthog, um, which you can see here. Um, we're now going to put um, a rotary switch in. Um, there are five indicators on the, the Warthog, and we're going to set six positions on this rotary switch. And we're just uh, adjusting the switch positions now after adding four new positions. Uh, and then we'll click it up uh, to be a continuous rotation. Um, the next thing we're going to do is we're going to go to the outputs of the rotary switch, go down to interfaces, select the HOTAS Warthog indicators, and now we see that there is an indicators drop down. So what we'll do is we'll add these indicators to the entered and exits for the positions. And for the entered, we'll have a static value of tr true. And for the exited, we have a static value of false. Uh, and we do this for all of the, um, all of the five indicators. Um, it's, it's useful just to, to note here that um, this capability was added in Helios 1.6.5800. Uh, next, we've added a potentiometer, and we've linked it with the set brightness. We can use the trigger value for this. Uh, we have a min of 0 and a max of 5, and then a step of 1, which basically mirrors onto the, the various settings that um, the Warthog throttle allows. And finally, we've got a simple toggle switch, and uh, position 1, we'll set uh, a true for entered on the backlight, and for exited, we'll set a false for the backlight. So let's um, save that off and um, go into Control Center. And now we'll just test them. So we're just turning the rotary switch now. And you can see the lights. Um, unfortunately, they're a bit blown out. So sorry about that. Um, but you can see the as we turn the, the rotary switch, the lights go um, in, in sequence. Um, and uh, the response is pretty good. Um, next, we shall change the brightness again because uh, I hadn't, uh, didn't have any aperture control on the camera. Uh, it's all a bit blown out, difficult to see. And then finally, that toggle switch turns on the um, the backlight for the whole whole device. And again, that's controlled by the brightness. There is only one brightness uh, control for the Warthog, and it does both those five indicators plus the backlight. Um, next, what we're doing, going to do is we're going to get um, DCS to control those indicators. So the first thing we do is we add uh, the HOTES Warthog um, interface. And um, because we're doing a Hornet test, we'll add the Hornet interface. Uh, we're going to use the uh, undercarriage status. So um, we add um, three indicators um, to monitor one, just so we can um, mirror those, uh, the indicators coming in. Um, from the interface from um, um, from DCS. So we link those indicators to um, the the interface. Now to get the Warthog indicators working, we actually need to use um, the wire uh, control from the miscellaneous category in the toolbox. Um, this is because we're trying to, to make um, an interface change something on an interface. Um, so what we do is uh, we're just renaming the um, the wires at the moment, just so we can see uh, remember what they are, and then we'll link the inputs um, of the wires to the Hornet interface. So one will be for left gear, one will be for right gear, one will be for the nose gear, uh, and then when we've done that, uh, we're actually do doing the um, set boolean operation on on the wire we'll go over to the output of the wire and we'll link those outputs or the boolean signal changed output to um, the indicators that we used previously so in this case we'll set indicator one um, to the boolean signal on the wire two for the um, the nose and three for the right gear 
once we've done that, um, because it looks a bit messy, we'll just uh, turn off the visibility of those so that they don't appear um, when we're editing the profile. They won't appear when you're in Control Center anyway. So once we've saved it, we go into our cockpit. We've got the um, three green indicators for the landing gear up in the top left uh, corner of the screen. And now we can see the HOTAS. Um, and it's, it's a bit difficult to see, but the nose gear goes out first, followed by the left and right. And then we'll just um, lower the gear again. And you can see that the um, indicators on the HOTAS mirror the, um, the ones for the aircraft. Thank you very much for watching.